Welcome to Cavalry Conversations. My name is Mariah, and today is just going to be a short video, and I'm going to be talking about insecurity. So I've done a YouTube video on this before, but when I did this, um, I definitely was still very insecure, and I still struggle with insecurity, but I'm realizing that insecurity just shows that I'm not secure in Christ, and I'm wanting men and women and everyone to like me and to think I'm so beautiful and all these things that are very worldly. So I want to talk about what I've been learning, especially recently. Actually, today I'm not wearing makeup. This is the first time I've ever not worn makeup in a podcast. So those who are listening, you can check out on YouTube. Just kidding. But it's weird for me because I like wearing makeup on podcast days just so I can look my best I think but I'm realizing that I don't need to always wear makeup to look quote-unquote beautiful or feel like everyone will think I'm more presentable but um so today's one of those days and Trinity understands because we have been struggling with allergies Trinity has it a lot worse so please pray for her um but my eyes are all red and all that so I was like I need to put mascara on but I was just feeling like not to do that and to do a podcast on this because I know a lot of men and women struggle with this, especially women. So my dad actually um, on Mother's Day talked about the Proverbs 31 woman, and it really convicted me because I'm just going to read this really quick. It says Proverbs 31, starting in verse 30, it says, Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Verse 31, give her the fruits of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. So right there, I was convicted hearing that because I a lot of times focus on how I look and think that if I looked better, then I can be able to talk to people and approach them and be more bold. But I love Proverbs 28, 1. It says, the righteous are as bold as a lion, not those who are the most beautiful or the most put together, but those who are in right standing with God. That's what righteous means. And so I was really praying about that because I just started a courtship back in March with Ryan, and I just realized how many insecurities started coming up. And it's just insecure people are not attractive. Like, I'm realizing how insecure I am, but it's because I'm not getting that love from the Lord and letting him love me and speak life into me all the time to where I would want to get that from my boyfriend and like tell me how beautiful I am. But that's just it gets downright annoying. Honestly, I always tell him I'm so sorry for being annoying, but he loves affirming me in that. But like how beautiful I am and all that stuff. But it's still it's going to get to a point where it's like, you know, what? I really need to know that to the Lord that when I live a life of fearing him and walking in purity and walking in the spirit, that's when I'm most beautiful to the Lord and that's when I will be beautiful to others. And so for men, they have different insecurities. I'm not I'm sure men are not trying to look beautiful, but handsome, right? Or, you know, strong or tough or I'm a man, you know, like being cool or whatever you might be insecure or I'm not that smart. That's something I've struggled with growing up. But it just gets really sad because our culture the culture is teaching us, oh, you got to love yourself. But I think that is the issue is that we love ourselves so much that we're like, why doesn't everyone else love me and think I'm so awesome? Or, you know, the just effects of sin or this world and decay, you know, things happen to our body where we just don't eat well or work out. And I'm, I'm saying it is good to work out and eat well, but not make that an idol. But we get to a point where we're starting to make that an obsession. And then when we don't do it, then we feel like, oh, I, I'm just such a slob or lazy. So just finding that balance of the Holy Spirit to where he can lead and guide you into how you should look to others is not worrying about how you look and even like a Pharisee, like, oh, I read my Bible all the time when I pray, but just being right and right sinning with the Lord, that's where you have that security. And another thing um, that I would like to read is First John. My dad was talking about this on Wednesday night. And this verse really hit me again because I realized that I really want other people to like me because I haven't really fully experienced the love of God. And I do at moments, but it's a daily thing that we need to ask the Lord to speak to us, to fill us with His Holy, the Holy Spirit and tell us how much He loves us and show that to us. So uh, 1 John 4, 
verse 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. So when I'm insecure, it's because I'm afraid. I'm afraid people won't like me, or people will think, oh, I'm not smart, or I talk funny, or I'm too loud, or anything. I don't know. I'm not strong enough. Uh, any insecurity you might have, that it makes it where we are afraid. And then when we're afraid, people respond in different ways. Me, sometimes I can respond in anger, or other people can like shrink back and like get away from people. Um, and that is just a result of fear. But when we understand God's perfect love, it should cast out that fear. And that fear is really from the enemy. So it's also like casting out demons where it's exposing the darkness. We can't look at insecurity anymore as, oh, it's just cute and oh, everyone's insecure. We need to look at that as sin because it's fear. And it's also vanity because we're caring about the outward instead of inward. And I really understand that it is something where we have to wrestle with that daily because it's a daily struggle. But I, I want to encourage you to read um, things like My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers because it's a, a daily devotional, but it's so convicting. It teaches you that this life is not about you. We need to count the cost, that so we need to live for eternity. Um, another book I re recommend for married couples um, or if you're dating or engaged is you and Me Forever, Marriage in Light of Eternity by Francis and Lisa Chan. Um, that book I've been reading and it's just real showing me that even marriage and we could be insecure about relationships or not being in a relationship or whether you're divorced or single that you can get insecure about your relationship status. But the only relationship that we should be focusing on, on is our relationship with the Lord. And I also want to read, I love writing down quotes from i have quotes from uh, leonard ravenhill i have quotes from martin lloyd jones charles spurgeon uh smith wigglesworth and all these mighty men and women of god george mueller um amy carmichael but i'm going to read this quote from Corey ten Boon because she you know wanted to get married and she didn't but she went through so much pain and maybe a lot of times she just didn't feel all put together right she was beat in the concentration camp she probably wasn't as fit and beautiful that she wanted to be but let's just i just want to read this quote um it says if you look to the world you will be distressed if you look within you will be depressed but if you look to god you will be at rest and so our hearts are always restless and i love there's a song by um all sons and daughters and it's called um i think it's called rest but it says our hearts are restless until they find rest in god and that's so true our hearts are always chasing something else like oh if i dye my hair blonde i used to think or if my eyelashes are really long or if my skin is perfect if i wear the best outfits um if i talk better if i learn more and i'm smarter um then i'll be satisfied but i'm telling you right now especially last year i tried to fulfill my life and being quote unquote perfect and buying all these nice clothes and like getting my hair dyed and getting long eyelashes and you literally feel tired it's just you feel overwhelmed it's stressful you also spend a lot of money which also stresses me out um but when you just rest in the lord that he well, all he cares about is our hearts being fully committed to him then we'll be able to just breathe and we'll be able to sleep well at night. We'll be able to realize that, oh my goodness, I don't have to spend all this money. And I'm not saying, don't hear me, that you can't ever dress nice. You can't ever wear makeup. You can't ever, you know, get your hair dyed. But if that's what you're finding life in or trying to find life in, then you should give that up and ask the Lord and maybe fast that. And just living a life of fastedness, I don't know if that's a word, but fasting because we just had the National Day of Prayer, and the National Day of Prayer used to be called the National Day of Prayer, um, fasting, and humiliation. Like, we get so mad if we're, quote-unquote, humiliated by someone, but if we're really humbling ourselves daily, then we shouldn't ever be humiliated, because we shouldn't care if, you know, someone laughs at us because we say something wrong. Someone laughs at us because, you know, 
your clothes rip or I don't know. You could think of the worst case scenario. But we should laugh too. Like my mom always says, if you can laugh later, might as well laugh now. And my mom is a perfect example of that, right? She has breast cancer and it's spread throughout her body. And she's in like the last stages of to the world of life and nothing else can really heal her except the Lord. And she doesn't really always feel beautiful. She has like a wound in her arm. She has tumors and she's losing so much weight and she's not able to like, dress in cute clothes or like focus on her outward because you know the outward body is wasting away and the bible talks about that but the inward man is being renewed daily and that's what she's focusing on is her relationship with god and living for eternity and she is so much more beautiful living that way than if she was spending that time focusing on oh my goodness i have to look perfect and she's realizing that stuff does not matter and so i just want to encourage you with that today if that's what you've been wrestling with and thinking maybe for if you're single thinking i will never find someone unless i look this way if i lose this many pounds if I start you know um taking these classes for school and like getting my master's or whatever you want to do and thinking then I'll be able to find someone or maybe you're insecure about your past or you're insecure like about your testimony and what you've shared just know that that is from the enemy if you're feeling those that condemnation and regret and shame but the lord he casts out all fear and so if you're being overwhelmed with that just know that the lord can fill you with his love with his peace with that security like that's what we have in christ is that blessed assurance of our salvation to where where we're children of god we can also remember the verse in um psalm 139 think it's verse 14 that says i am fearfully and wonderfully made and just being so thankful because his works and when he's done is marvelous it's glorious what he did so for us to put ourselves down which i struggle with that's hurting god because he created us even if you have a deformity even if you feel like you're overweight or you just yeah you just don't feel like the smartest person or very strong or good at sports know that god created you he loves you and there's always things we can work on like maybe we can work on eating better or maybe we can work on like more discipline in our life like that but you don't have to spend your life focusing on that and even if you never like oh i never get married because i didn't focus on that know that you are married to the creator of the universe jesus christ and that is the best marriage you're gonna have the best honeymoon you're gonna have the greatest time in heaven with the lord and you're gonna realize that all those things that you're focusing on do not matter and i'm preaching to myself right here and i'm not preaching because i'm not a pastor and sorry if i'm talking too much but I'm saying this because this is what I'm struggling with. So if you're struggling with this, I encourage you guys to look up quotes from men and women of old, like the old timers, the missionaries, the radical men. Listen to people like Paul Washer, people like Finney, uh, Spurgeon, Smith Wigglesworth, all these people who are just on fire for God. And a lot of times people thought that they weren't the most attractive or good looking people, but they were attracted to their passion and fire for the Lord. And one other thing um, I wanted to read, 1 Samuel 16, 7, it says, man looks at the outward, but God looks at the heart. So my prayer for you today is that you can focus on how your relationship with God is and your heart. Um, is it a heart that's bitter and unforgiving and angry, a heart that's always chasing after the newest thing, the newest fad? Um, on Instagram, I had to delete my personal Instagram because I was so focused on comparing myself to, uh, myself to others. And the Bible says, when you compare yourself to others, you're a fool. You're foolish because you'll never be able to look like the movie stars, the models. Like a lot of them too. This one um, model, she was saying, I get sad that normal housewives and just regular women are comparing themselves to me because she's like i spend my whole life trying to look good and yet the pictures and those things are all airbrushed and fake so know that women you know sometimes you get stretch marks or cellulite i don't think men get cellulite right trin which is weird but just know that that's okay that even if you feel insecure about that know that that's not what matters what matters is your relationship with god so sorry if that was long i wanted that to be short but just praying that you seek the Lord 
even when you're feeling insecure that's okay if insecurities come up but just submit them to the lord and you know maybe go to church with no makeup or ask the lord when you wake up lord what do you want me to wear today and talk to him and look at him as your husband and for men maybe that's like difficult for you but even my boyfriend ryan he does that like before when he wakes up he's like god what do you want me to wear and he's not insecure or weird about like being a tough guy to where it's like he doesn't realize that you know even the lord is his husband not in a weird way but he's married to the lord and he has the intimacy that can know goes with the lord which is so beautiful and that's what i love about him and so think about just how beautiful and attractive that is and so i want you to be able to just be encouraged that the lord is for you he loves you that you are so beautiful because he made you and just be encouraged today and you can share this podcast with a friend that maybe is struggling with insecurity and also i would encourage you to come if the, if you're watching this video before may 15th to come to our event on may 15th that's this sunday it will be a 9 a.m and 11 a.m service and a special 6 p.m q a with beckett cook he's been on our podcast before he was in the homosexual lifestyle for 15 years and the lord radically changed him and he now has an intimate relationship with the Lord. He has amazing testimony that I'll be sharing. And then the Q&A at 6 p.m. is also going to be amazing where you guys can ask any of your questions and he'll be answering them. So make sure to invite your family members and friends. We would love for it to be a packed house. So don't worry, we'll have enough seats. So bring whoever, bring your family, friends. And if you're not able to come, we'll have it on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Please subscribe to Calvary Valley's YouTube page. And if you're listening to, to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to leave us you know, a review. That would be very much appreciated because that's how we get this podcast out to so much, to so many more people. And we would like to encourage you to follow us on Instagram at Calvary conversations and you can check out behind the scenes and i'll be doing some live q a's and things like that that you guys can join and any updates and you can also check out our sponsor mission heating and cooling thank you so much to them they've been such a blessing please go check out their website in the description below if you haven't already please make sure to like subscribe and share this video and i know i said a lot but i love you guys so much we'll see you sunday may 15th and I'll see you next week on the podcast. Thanks so much, guys, and God bless.